Aguero is full to the rafters as Inter welcome the old enemy Juventus. Masala for one, Insegna kept out by a sublime Dino's off. Inter waiting for their moment to strike on the break. And just when Inter seemed on top, Juventus pounced. Inter. I think Inter Juve, I think Platini, Pepe Maresi, Oriali. Inter win it back through Oriali. It was a unique match, such a special and important fixture. Winning it meant a great deal to everyone involved. Marisi crunching tackle against Cabrini, cuts it back. Oriali hits it into the top corner. Juventus owner Gianni Agnelli used to drop in at half time or before the match. Even in the week leading up to the match, he used to arrive by helicopter from Sestriere after skiing there in the morning. The Inter Juve rivalry is one between two great clubs. Two footed and with an eye for goal, Marco Tardelli, a midfielder in the late 70s and 80s, never stopped. Even after the final whistle, he suffered from insomnia. After every league game, I used to spend the evenings and nights with Pino, who was effectively the handyman at Juventus. He used to drive me around at night, and we had a lot of fun together. I saw everything. They were good times. When playing for Italy, Pino's replacement was Enzo Berzot, the 1982 World Cup winning coach. The insomnia struck the night before the final. But Marco certainly roused the footballing world with the iconic Tardelli scream. My whole life, why I wanted to play football, my career, all flashed before my eyes. It was an incredible experience. Ecstasy only matched by his debut Serie A goal. Juve score, it's Tardelli. It happened against Inter in Turin. I scored and I went crazy. It was so over the top that President Boniperti called me into his office the next day. He warned me and said I needed to be calmer when I scored. The Juve midfielder certainly enjoyed that one. It's incredible to think that I scored against all 20 Serie A clubs, even more so that Inter were my favourite victims as I then played for them. Headed home, Tardelli. I was the youngest of four brothers. One supported Milan, one Juventus, the other Fiorentina. I had one choice, Inter. I became a Juventus fan because I played there. The club will always have a special place in my heart. Outstanding athleticism from Tardelli. Juventus is a special club. What counts is the shirt, not the player. Players leave, but the shirt always remains. Welcome to San Siro. This is a match that divides the nation, the Derby d'Italia. The Derby d'Italia is a rivalry between two cities, two clubs, and at the moment, between two Tuscan coaches. They're both expert coaches. I think Spalletti may have a slight edge tactically, but Allegri is very good at making decisive changes during a match. He's one of the best coaches around at the moment. He's an excellent man-manager. Spalletti is also a great coach, but it's the players that really make the difference. My favourite at Juve right now is Kalini because he's the most important also for his key role in the dressing room. Then you have Ronaldo, who is clearly the best player and can win matches alone. Ronaldo! Just like that! For Inter, I would normally say Icardi, but lately he's not the Icardi that we all know. The Nerazzurri are still fighting for a place in the top four while the Bianconeri have already won league title number 35. I think Juve need to find motivation when they face Inter. Inter, meanwhile, have plenty. This could be a turning point in their season, so Inter might have the upper hand, even if they don't have a Ronaldo.